In this video, you'll learn how to add a comment to a VoiceThread. So I have an assignment in Blackboard, and right here I can see my VoiceThread activity. So I will click on VoiceThread, and it will pass me through to the VoiceThread website. Here's the activity or the assignment for me for this week. I click on it. So if I want to leave a comment on this, what I can do is click toward the bottom. There's a little plus sign. And when I click on that, I see that there are different options for ways that I can leave comments. I can leave text comments. I can use the, my phone or my computer microphone to leave audio comments. I could use my webcam or I can upload a, an audio file. So let's take a look. Let's say I want to leave a text comment. So I click on the little ABC and I just type in my comment and click Save. So now my comment appears here. Here's the text. And if anybody else is watching this, when other students go in, they'll be able to see my comment. And if I hold over here, I can X, click on the X to close it. I can click on the pencil to edit it, or I can click on the trash can to delete it. Let's take a look at some of the other options for adding comments. I'll click on the plus sign again and click on the telephone. Now it prompts me to enter in my phone number, which I've already done that, and then I just click call me. It's going to call me on my cell phone. There it is. So I answer and it plays a message. The D delete your comment. When finished, just hang up or for more options, press one. So now I just leave my comment by speaking into my phone. When I'm done, I hang up. And if I look at voice thread in the lower left corner, that phone's going to turn from green to white. So it's processing. And now I have my other comment here. I can click on it. So now I just leave my comment by speaking in. So I left my comment through my phone. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at some of the other ways you can leave a comment. I'll click on the plus sign and I'll click on microphone. And then this will record from my computer microphone. So I just have to say I allow it. So I'll click allow gives me a nifty little countdown and now it's recording using my computer microphone now you notice also I have the option here there's a little pencil if I click on that I get all these colored pencils so let me pick yellow and now as I'm leaving my comment I could draw if I wanted to point something out on the video or on the slide and when I'm done I click stop recording It'll play back for me. Using my computer microphone. Now you if I don't like it, I can cancel or I can just click save. Mm -hmm. So now I can play that. I'll turn this up. And you'll see the doodle come up that I also, when I wrote on top of the screen. Okay, let's stop that one. And let's look at the way that you can use your webcam. Now I actually can't use my webcam right now to leave a comment because I'm using my webcam to make this video about how to leave comments. But if I did, I could click on the webcam. Again, it'll give a countdown. And then I could use my webcam and it would record me as I'm speaking. So it would have video and my audio to go with it. And I'll stop recording. And then and I'll click Save. For this instance, because I'm already using my webcam for something else, it didn't record. And your last option is to upload a file. So if you have some other software that you're comfortable with creating an audio file, then you can create it the other way using the other tool and then upload it into VoiceThread. So that's how you can leave comments in VoiceThread.